see everything that I got. There is a lot. It's all right here. Lots of clothes. Lots of clothes. I got a lot of clothes this year. <laughs> hey, you want to be in the video? Hey guys, it's Tiffany. <laughs> what is freaking up, you guys? Zoe wants love. Come here. You want love? You're gonna get it. Oh, okay. She just fell. Today we are doing a Black Friday haul. Let me tell you guys, we are changing it up this year. I have been doing Black Friday hauls for like the last six years of my career. Every single year I go shopping at like 12 a.m., come home at like 4 a.m., and then film a video and upload it within like the next seven hours. And that just eats up into my family time. And I just like didn't want to go Black Friday shopping on Black Friday. Like you can start Black Friday shopping on a Monday. So like there's literally no point to go shopping on Black Friday, but I wanted to make this video so that you guys can see what the deals are. So yeah, without further ado, let's get in with this haul. Let's get in with this haul. The first store I went to was Urban Outfitters. They were having a 40% off their entire sale section. So I had to like pick everything up that I wanted. This is actually the first thing I picked up, which is this tie-dye happy face. I love that the happy face is melting because I feel like when people pretend that they're happy, they kind of just like melt on the inside. So this has like a double meaning to me. I always like to cuff my t-shirt. This is just a single cuff that I'm doing right now. But sometimes I like to do a double cuff depending on how long the t-shirt is. But I always like to tuck my oversized t-shirt shirts into my jeans that are like high-waisted and so I did the same thing for here I think it just gives like a tailored look also if you want you can totally just like tuck it in like this and it stays pretty put but you can use a hair tie to like make sure it's super snug but I think that's really cute as well <laughs> the next thing I got from Urban Outfitters is this overall dress. I love the fact that it's a muted mustard color. It gives me cute 70s grandma vibes. Like my grandma might have worn this. She wouldn't have, but like maybe she would have. I'm also pairing it with this fuzzy cardigan on the inside so I stay warm. But I would definitely wear this with like a top that's more of like a crew neck top or even a turtleneck top. I think that would look a lot cuter, but I currently don't have that available to me because my door is right here. And if I open my closet right now, literally this entire fake backdrop will fall down. So we're not gonna do that. It has these giant front pockets right here so I can fit my tampons and my like phone when I need to or my wallet or a flask if I really wanted to drink because I'm hanging out with my family this year for Christmas. That's gonna be a struggle. Um, but I love my family, but sometimes they're crazy just like every other Asian family. So the next store I went to is Pretty Little Thing because your girl feels like a pretty little thing when she's wearing her pretty little things. I'm not gonna lie, I originally totally forgot about Pretty Little Thing. I wasn't gonna shop there until Lauren freaking group chatted me and Mia. We're like, Pretty Little Thing is 50% off everything. Pretty Little Thing had like a computer website malfunction because I was only supposed to get 50% off but I actually ended up getting like 57% off. I got an extra 7% off. I'm pretty happy about that. You will notice that I grabbed a lot of beige stuff from Pretty Little Thing because I really love the monochromatic look. I love the color beige and I just want to be monochromatic for the winter time. So this is the first thing that I grabbed is a cardigan that's like ribbed. I know I see some like Instagram baddies literally wear their cardigans like this and I don't know if I can pull that off. Like it looks like this. I don't know if I love that just yet, but we'll try it out. P.S. If you are gonna hang this sweater, be careful because it's pretty thin. So I would suggest folding this or using a really thick hanger instead of like those thin ones that like stretch it out. Oh my God, this dress is so fancy. This is the next thing I grabbed from Pretty Little Thing and it is like literally supposed to be a midi dress, but because I'm literally so short, it's actually a maxi dress that I can wear this for the holidays, but I don't know if I entirely love it yet, so I think I'm gonna return this guy. I don't know, let me know down below if I should keep it or return it. It is kind of cheaply made, I will say, and that's probably one of the bigger reasons why I wanna return this. So we don't know about this one yet. It is super cute though. I feel very fancy in this dress which I think is like the actual goal of this dress. I'm not entirely sure if I love this cow neck design. I think I need your guys' help on this dress. Let me know down below, is this a dress I should keep or should I return? Keep or return? But at least this dress only costs about $20 on sale, so it wasn't too bad. Another thing I grabbed from Pretty Little Thing is this long camel coat, but it is fuzzy. Like it's so pretty and so well made. This I think was like $40 with the sale. It was super inexpensive, but I'm actually gonna be in Chicago this year, a week before Christmas, and Chicago gets freaking cold. Like 
25 degree weather. I am a baby, California born and raised, so I definitely need this like giant coat. So yeah, this is super cute. The next store I went to is PacSun. PacSun was having a 30% off everything sale, so this is kind of the stuff that I got. So I got this t-shirt right here. It has the iconic Michelangelo painting where it is, I believe, David and God like touching hands. I don't remember because it's been a while since I've been in history art classes. I really love this t-shirt. It is so freaking soft. It feels like it's been washed 15 times. It has like that vintage look. I think this is probably one of my favorite things that I picked up, but this is the t-shirt. So the next thing I picked up are these pants from PacSun. They are so freaking cute. As you guys know, my favorite mom jeans literally ripped on me while I was at Target. So I had to pick up a bunch of jeans from PacSun. I freaking love the PacSun mom jeans. Also, they come in a size 22, which fit me perfectly. And no other brand actually sells size 22 that I'm aware of. Normally, 24 is like the smallest size, and that just like does not fit me. So this is one of the jeans that I grabbed. So cute. I also always cuff my jeans because again, I'm very short, but this is kind of what it looks like. These jeans are not stretchy at all. The next pair of jeans I got from Paxson are these white mom jeans. These are in a size 23. So these are the jeans. It has like ripped pieces everywhere, which is kind of cool. What's nice though is that even though they are big for me, I can tuck things in a little bit better and I can just wear a belt. Honestly, it's like not that big where it's noticeable. Since it's literally festive eating season, I will thank myself later because then I get to eat a little more than I could normally eat with my regular jeans. But I do love the fact that they're white. I really want the monochromatic look. Again, I need to cuff these. I haven't cuffed these yet, but these babies definitely need to be cuffed. The last pair of pants that I got from Paxson are these guys right here. This is like cargo track pants. I love the vibe of it. It's very like insta baddy, which I'm not really used to. Still getting used to that term. But I think it actually looks cute with this Princess Polly top that I have right here that says hot damn on it. What's really cool is that this also came with this tape belt that is super popular right now. Like I see everyone wearing it, like Adeline Morin, Alicia Marie. It's also cuffed at the bottom, so it hits the leg really, really well. And for me being 5'2", these pants fit perfectly. So if you guys are short like me, I think you guys are gonna love these pants. I'm gonna link them down below. But this is what the bottom looks like. This is what my butt looks like. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. So the next store I went to is Princess freaking Polly. I freaking love Australian brands. Australian brands, I don't know what's up with their water. Everyone who designs for Australian brands, their stuff is just so much freaking cuter and it's so my style. So I had to pick up a bunch of stuff from Princess Polly and this is the first top that I picked up. It is like this mock neck leopard print top. So it has like little ruffle edges and it is so silky soft. I really like this thing. Also, I can't exactly remember what their sale is for Princess Polly, but I did get a few things from Princess Polly that were free because I do work with them as well. This is one of the things I bought, but I want to show you guys everything that I got from them so that if you see something you like, you can shop for it. The next top I have from Princess Polly is actually a gift from Princess Polly. I went to their Friendsgiving this year and this is like one of the tops that they gave me. It's super cute. It says hot damn on it. Not normally the type of person that thinks I'm like hot damn at all, but I thought this was really cute. It also fits me so well. I have small boobies. Welcome to the itty bitty titty committee. If you guys are part of it, comment down below. Is it inappropriate to be like, comment down below your bra size? You guys don't have to. I actually think you guys shouldn't. But like, if you're part of the itty bitty titty, you guys can relate that it's hard to find clothing that just like fits your top right. And I feel like this fits me right. I feel like just... I need to stop touching my boobs. But I feel like they just look good right now, so I'm happy with this top. The next thing I got from Princess Polly is this skirt right here. Originally, I thought the skirt was too big for me, but I realized I'm actually really happy it's a little big for me. Then I can tuck in sweaters that are very, very thick. That way, it's still breathable for me without like literally killing myself. I love that the skirt has this like really high slit right here. It's made out of this like pleather material, so it's like waterproof and nice. I feel like it's so wintry. I feel like a lot of times animal print isn't that wearable, but this is actually so wearable. So cute. I got it in the size zero. So if you guys are size like 23, 24, it might be a little big for you. But if you have a thick sweater to tuck in underneath it, 
it's perfect. I also grabbed these two really cute bags from Princess Polly. I think both of these bags would work perfectly for this outfit. This one is black. This is from Naked Device. It comes with two chains. You can pick from the gold like link chain or the black regular leather chain. I think it's really cute with both on at the same time, but you can also just like take one off and put the other one on. This thing is really pricey, but it's so freaking well made. The next bag I have is this little snakeskin backpack. Of course, it's vegan, it's fake, it's not real. I would never. They actually gave this to everybody for the Friendsgiving event. I think it's so cute and it actually like matches this outfit perfectly. Like that is so cute. It's like monochromatic, very animal printy, very trendy, but so wearable. So this is another thing that Princess Polly gave to me. This is this like really fuzzy, super warm and cozy cardigan in this beige color. It is so freaking cute and warm. I will say though, this thing sheds like crazy. So I would definitely like throw this in the dryer really fast to get rid of all that shedding, but it's so nice and soft. I love this thing so much. So this is definitely gonna be one of those tops where I keep wearing it until it literally dies on me. I like it. So this is the next thing that I got from Princess Polly. It is this like silky cami dress that has these like little ties so you can adjust the height of it, which I think is so amazing because so many freaking times I wear a dress and it's like too long for me because I am so short. I'm not only a part of the itty bitty titty committee, I am part of the short girl squad. So I'm really short, I'm five two and a half. And this dress is so nice and silky. I will say it is like kind of hard to wear because it is still a little long for me. So I just paired it with this like leopard shirt that I was talking about, but I really like the look of it. I think this type of dress is perfect for the holidays. Oh my God, this outfit is so freaking cute. Okay, so the next store I went to is For Love and Lemons. For Love and Lemons is definitely a brand that I just like find so expensive, but they were having like a 40% off sale sale. I really love it. I got everything in the size extra small. The only downfall is that this skirt is definitely not an extra small. I have a really weird hip to like waist ratio. I literally have no hips. I don't have an hourglass, I'm like a square. No hips here, like literally just like whoop. And this actually fits me so well. I think it's because of this little tie right here. It ties really tightly, so you can adjust it to your boob size. I feel like I'm saying titties and boobs a lot in this video. Please excuse that. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit. So cute. This last piece I got from For 11 Lemons is so freaking cute. I've actually been eyeing this piece for months and months and months now. It is so adorable, so soft. Their knits are so expensive because honestly, just wearing them, they feel so well made. And what's cool is that I can wear it unbuttoned, but I kind of like the buttoned up look. I don't know, it gives me like vintage vibes. So the next one I went to was actually ASOS. This is one of the pieces that I got from ASOS and I cannot believe I own a Juicy Couture something. But when I was a kid, I wanted a Juicy Couture sweatpants suit for the longest time. The middle school girl in me is screaming at the fact that like I now own a Juicy Couture swimsuit. Like this isn't exactly what I wanted as a kid. I always wanted my butt to say juicy on it, but now I guess we're gonna settle for the fact that my titties are gonna say juicy on it. I love these high cut one piece suits. It's very Baywatch, I think they're so flattering. It just makes everything look really long, like your legs look a lot longer than they actually are because it's so high cut. So if you guys have short legs like me, definitely get some high cut swimsuits like this. So all those cool Instagram baddies wear these biker shorts and I freaking hate these on me, oh my god. This is another thing I grabbed from ASOS. It's from the brand Champion. It's these biker shorts. I don't know if I don't like it because it has like the Champion logo all over it. Like I think I would rather have just like plain black biker shorts. But at the same time, I just don't think this looks good on me. Like I feel like in the right outfit, this might look a lot better, but your girl just doesn't know how to pull this off. So I might return this, but I can also wear this for yoga because sometimes after yoga, I get really, really cold. So this would like cover more, which is perfect, but still not too long where I'm like burning hot. Yeah, this is it. This is it. There's nothing else to talk about. I don't like it. 
I don't like this at all. Um, but yeah, that's it with today's haul. I'm actually so excited to actually spend Black Friday with my friends and my family this year. Mia and I are gonna hit up the mall and go to the movies and then bring our boyfriends along. We're more like dragging our boyfriends along. So I'm really excited about that. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, if you guys haven't already, go follow me on Instagram at Miss Tiffany Ma and my TikTok at Miss Tiffany Ma and my Twitter at Miss Tiffany Ma. But yeah, I gotta go now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day Ooh, no matter what I do I'll be lost in you